Hey everyone, uh, today is vlog number five for Muscle Girl Fusion. Um, I know I skipped last week's, it was a crazy, crazy weekend, and this weekend might be a little crazy. I'm gonna hopefully be on on Monday, but I'm not gonna make a guarantee. Um, but today, today I'm really excited. I actually have like a game plan. I try to always have a game plan, but today I'm really excited about it. Um, always learning. I know I talked about it in one of my first vlogs um, about how it's just something that I love to do. I didn't really like school much because I don't think it was really anything that I was excited to learn about. But now that I'm an adult, now that I can pick what I want to learn about, it's fun. Um, even in college, I was a music major and at that time I thought that's what I wanted, but no. <laughs> um, so. Uh, it kind of starts with why I started blogging. So I started blogging because I was starting to compete in bodybuilding and I didn't know anyone else who had competed ever. And I was looking up different people and trying to find like, people's experiences with natural local bodybuilding and women's physique. But women's physique is such a new category, it was very hard to find. And I don't even think I really found anybody. I found people currently competing and I'd kind of follow them on Instagram and on Facebook, but on those social media sites, you're not getting the full story. You're just kind of getting their best face and best picture that they want to post. Um, I know now sometimes people will post the before and after and the bad and the good and they'll try to post it, but you know it's going to mainly be the good stuff. Um, so I was, I was like, well, maybe I can come up with something and I can share my experience about what I'm going through with this competition and getting ready for it. And um, my husband just did one and then I'm doing one and then we're going to do one together. So um, I figured it would be a cool thing to kind of do so other people can see it. And because I really needed it, <laughs> I did it for me, really. Um, it definitely helped. And I know there are some rants out there on... Uh, I think I started on uh, Tumblr. I don't remember. I started on one of those, but there are definitely a lot of food rants and how this is horrible and people shouldn't do this and it's not good for you and all that stuff. Um, but then I started to realize posting that, that I was inspiring people and I was helping people and um, I was helping other people who also wanted to learn just like I wanted to learn. And so that's kind of why I've kept it going. Um, and also some of the cool things about learning is there's so many things out there now that you can use. The internet is amazing. It's not even just the internet that's awesome, but it's just what you can pull out of the internet. So just last night, in the past couple nights, we've been watching some documentaries on Netflix and on Amazon Prime and on Hulu. Um, I used to be totally against watching food documentaries. It all started um, in 2009 with Food Inc. Um, that's the one that has like the cow on the front and you're just kind of like, oh, poor cow. Like, what am I eating? I love burgers. Don't tell me that that's bad because I like burgers. I like bacon. I like eggs. Uh. So I didn't really want to watch it. <laughs> At least back in 2009, I did not want to watch it. Um, but then recently, within the last year or so, we both kind of got into, well, let's just see what these are all about. We had to eat a lot of meat when we were bodybuilding, and we both still kind of try to stick with the protein, but after watching, um, oh my gosh, What the Health, Forks Over Knives, um, those two were really big. Those are on Netflix, and then, oh, Cowspiracy, that was a bad one. Oh, bad is in a good way. I'm looking at my phone just so I can get you the right... Um, names and i'll try to post some of these also and what uh media platform they're on um in the comments but in the other one i found that has the most awesome videos is amazon prime if you have prime you need to watch some of these um fed up is a big one talks about kind of like the government and food um food chains food choices um i think we're gonna try watching this one called foods that cure disease we haven't watched it yet but it's four hours <laughs> so I don't think that's gonna be a one night thing but I think it's gonna be really interesting um, and then there's food matters one that I really liked is called that sugar film it's actually really kind of funny um, the guy tries to eat like 
as much sugar as possible for probably, I forget how long it was. It was like a month, I think, maybe three months. And he sees a doctor along the way and they start seeing like how much his uh, levels go up as he's eating the sugar. Um, and there's just so many on here that it's just, we just watched one last night, is sugar the new fat? That one. If you have kids who drink pop, please watch that one. Um, it's just, it's crazy the stuff that they put in our food sugars and everything can't get away from it you really can't i mean the only way you can is if you just kind of stick to produce and even then maybe it's not sugar but now they're throwing chemicals on it to keep the bugs away and all the pesticides to keep the weeds away um so yeah i mean you just have to not make yourself knowledgeable if you remember the movie Super Size me that's kind of another way um, it's similar to that sugar film, except that guy was doing McDonald's every day for like a month. This guy did like extra sugar for a month or so. Um, but just documentaries, if you have Netflix, if you have Amazon Prime, they're all free. I mean, you just have to take an hour and watch them. Some of them, the one that, that sugar is sugar, the new fat, that's 45 minutes. I mean, just throw it on. Just even if you get one thing out of it, it's so useful and beneficial. And it may help you think differently when you're at the grocery store or when you're at a restaurant and you're going to pick out food. Um, I mean, it just, it kind of. Anyways, I'm not going to spoil the whole movie. You should go watch it. Um, another way I find very interesting to learn things is the internet. I know Google is like up and down, up and down, and you can find pretty much anything. Any viewpoint that you want, you will find. <laughs> but if you're just kind of looking for something and you're not taking it too seriously and you just are curious, like, what does this mean? Like, what is a paleo diet really? Or what is keto? Or um, what is a water fast? Or is fasting okay for 24 hours? I mean, those are the kind of things that you can find really good information and then you can find that, oh, it's horrible, don't do it. Um, so you just kind of have to take things with a grain of salt because you're always gonna find the opposing viewpoint. I know um, I'm a part of Juice Plus, and I know if you Google Juice Plus, you will find all sorts of things. It's amazing. It's horrible. It's amazing. It's horrible. But what I always tell people is you can find bad things about Mother Teresa online. You really could. I Googled it. There's like a whole website about how she's a horrible person and that she was out to like get kids or something. I don't know. But you can pretty much find anything. But you just have to take everything with a grain of salt, and you just kind of have to go into it thinking – okay, I'm just looking for this just to kind of get a better idea and know a little bit on my own. Um, three other things that kind of help me learn personal trainers. I know a lot in the gym. I get how the body works for the most part without even having to go to school for it because I saw personal trainers. Everybody's kind of like, what do you need a personal trainer for? You work out all the time and you know what you're doing. And it's like, yeah, I do, but there's stuff I don't know. <gasps> and I mean, it's just, it's cool to get different people's perspectives. I've had three really awesome personal trainers so far and I just know that I'm gonna keep finding more. Um, you just have to kind of take what they tell you again with a grain of salt because they're not all right but they can definitely help you and if you're smart about it then you can definitely get a lot of knowledge out of them um and then chiropractors or wellness doctors um i personally like doctors that don't try to push pills on you um i've luckily knock on wood never really had any issues um because I was always in sports as a kid. I mean, I ate pizza and stuff, but I don't feel like I ever went completely out of control. Um, like a lot of it is because I've always kind of had body image issues. <laughs> so I've always tried to watch my weight, but who hasn't? Um, I'm learning to cope with them at 30 years old and I probably will for the rest of my life, which is sad, but um, Rob's definitely been very helpful in that and making me feel better about myself. Um, but enough about that. So find a wellness doctor, find a chiropractor that has your best um, interest at heart and isn't just gonna pop pills. They wanna find the cause as to why you're in pain or why you're having the issues that you're having. And then your own body and your own experiences. You have to listen to your body. You have to know what's worked for you, what doesn't work for you. I thought intermittent fasting didn't work for me, but I think that was because I was doing it continuously. So I said, hey, let's try this again. So I'm doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, trying to fast 24 hours on Sunday, and I feel great. I don't feel like it's being bad to me. It wasn't bad before, it was just hard to keep up with. 
Um, but now I feel like since I'm not doing it every day, it's been a little bit easier to kind of make it part of my schedule. And I mean, you just have to know, know your body. What bothers you? I can't have ice cream anymore. I loved ice cream, but that's why they have almond milk ice cream. So I can eat that. So you just kind of have to know, just listen to yourself and just know what is right for you. And that is all I have today. And I know it's a little longer than normal, but I hope you got a lot out of it. And I will put some of the movies that I've watched and where they are at for free, um, as long as you have Prime and Netflix and uh, underneath in the comments section. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Maybe. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. It'll be a surprise. Bye.